Good morning. This is Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. All that to look forward to this morning. Uh, just gone six o'clock. Uh, this is our main story. The world's most powerful rocket, the Falcon Heavy, has successfully launched. Doesn't look real, no. but that is um, a real shot. Yeah, and, and there is a live shot apparently, which yeah. we're going to try and get a little bit later on. Fascinating, though, isn't it? Uh, it uh, they've made a documentary. We're speaking to um, somebody from the Natural History mm. Museum about it yesterday, but it's incredibly clever on what they've done and absolutely fascinating what they found. The elite level of this competition. Gosh. So it's not going to be easy for them, but uh, we'll be keeping across that all morning. Lovely. You're going to hang around for the papers in a bit? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. It's good. The good people of Scotland are very happy, apparently, with the new graphics. Are they? Scotland looks a lot bigger. <laughs> um, right, should we have a look at some of the papers this morning, then? Yes. Now, we uh, mentioned about uh, Cheddar Man. He is, as promised, on the front page of the Daily Telegraph as well. Absolutely. Sounds like a great movie, Dan. Yes. Write that the hedge one. I could see it now. Yeah, that's extreme. Not like that, though. I don't think the holiday insurance would cover that, would it? You could have some bits and bobs to do that, haven't you? Wow. <laughs> Dear me. Thank you very much. Holly. Thanks. See you later, Holly. Um, now, have a little look at this. We heard him talking today, sort of saying, you know, that this could become part of life, just sort of daily flights into space. Is that how you see the future, Daz? And, and when might that be? Chaka's Guide to the Galaxy in the glove compartment is playing yes. with it, David Bowie as well. And he says the car's yeah. going to be up there for a billion years. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'm exactly. You get your money. You Money's Lords of influences right. to get yeah. to this decision where they suddenly go. Then in Asia, after America, they go, oh, hang on a minute, maybe we should worry too. He is an appeals barrister. He can tell us more about um, how today's hearing will work. Morning to you. Good morning. I'm just, um, I, I, actually, just let's rewind a little bit to this whole legal process. You know, lots of people have been talking about this. It's been in many of the papers as well. That conviction in 2009, 85 women complained to police that they believe war boys might have assaulted them as well. Many That's people will be interested in the, the outcome of those proceedings. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> weird stuff. There's weird stuff going on in there. <laughs> the front page um, of let's go for the mirror. The front page of the mirror. This is a mum talking. Well, I live in Sheffield, and they do. They still have him, hold him in very high regard. There, and he, didn't he say he would, he would always be an owl. Didn't Absolutely. He? Like, when we lose these, then we're going to get into problems. But at least we've got them for the moment. It's fantastic. I uh, love that you still like your Christmas presents. I do. I've, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the only Christmas present I've got that I'm still using. <laughs> the rest has all been eaten. Uh, the city of Liverpool is used to welcoming visitors from around the world, but the latest arrivals are not your average tourists. No, they're not. And I, I mean, I know that they're, they're six foot tall, but until you see them it's sort of so close, it, it, I mean, I, I've learned so much this morning. Joining us on breakfast. It's uh, 17 minutes past eight. Morning, you are watching Breakfast. Um, it's cold out, but Carol can give you proper details and to look, a look at the new graphics as well. Morning. Thank you very much for that, Carol. Uh, lots of people saying they're enjoying Carol's new look, weather map and graphics this morning. You have oh. been, haven't you? Very I much have. so. I, I do like... I, I thought I'd miss the yellow numbers, but I don't. They, it's just... Um, I mean, the, sh the shots are absolutely fantastic. Thank mm. you very much. And it's so interesting to see how technology can help it's things. It's totally changed our perspective of many things, Well, it? well yes, exactly. Mm. Yes, it comes as the Prime Minister prepares to meet senior ministers to attempt to agree the government's approach to the next stage of negotiations. Uh, Holly's going to be here yeah. with the sport in a moment, but uh, should we say what's, first yeah, of all, what's coming what's... up on the programme between now and 9.15? Visitors from around the world but the latest arrivals aren't your average tourists. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. They weigh as much as 47 stone. Yeah, tell us about that first meeting then, because you're a big you were a big fan. First meeting, he was he was getting off a bus. Can I put it down? Much, no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's spiky, but she's not. It doesn't hurt when you touch her, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, oh, yeah. The problem is because she was a baby when she came in. To handle her because she's a rescue hedgehog. Yes. Right, what do people. I mean, I, I don't know if there are hedgehogs in my garden, so what do you. How would you know? Um, we do get cruelty, we get a lot of road traffic accidents, and we need to be more careful. 10,000 years ago, and they've created some amazing pictures as well, which we've been showing you all morning. A bit more of that after a last brief look at the headlines, after we've had a bit more hedgehog love. Just honestly, she was so warm. She was just absolutely lovely. If you notice when you start when you started chatting, the, yeah. the uh, Daniela right out there, and you slowly <laughs> draw her in. Yeah. A little bit about what you, what you found. So I mean, so lots of startling things. I mean, for example, blue eyes. That's a really that's really clear in DNA. So possibly that's why they had developed paler skin because they weren't eating the foods that had high amounts of vitamin D. In them. So fascinating. Coming up now, Country File Winter Diaries, where the team discover why our wellies might have to carry a health warning.